This is part 57 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Razor View syntax. We know that any Razor View, both C# -sharp code and HTML can coexist. To switch between HTML and C# -sharp code, we use at symbol. Let's say for example, I want to print numbers from 1 to 10. We can very easily achieve that using a for loop. Okay? So this for loop here is C# -sharp code. So we are preceding that with an at symbol. Okay? So this for loop, opening bracket, closing bracket, this is C-sharp code. And we want each number to be in bold. Okay? So we are wrapping that with a bold tag. So here, from C-sharp, we are, you know, switching to HTML mode. The moment Razor View, you know, detects this bold tag, it knows that, okay, it's an HTML tag. So it is smart enough to switch to HTML mode. But then after that, we want to print number, you know, whatever value this i variable is carrying. Okay, so we need to switch from HTML to C sharp mode. And to do that, we are preceding that variable i, which is C sharp variable, with an at symbol. So we are switching from HTML to C sharp using that at symbol. And then we are closing the bold tag. So we are again switching from C sharp to HTML mode. Okay, basically, to switch between C-sharp code and HTML, we use at symbol in Razor Views. Let's look at this program in action. So this is the index view. So we want a for loop, so we are preceding that with an at symbol. For int i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, i plus plus. Okay, so all this is C-sharp code. Now, I want to print, you know, whatever value that is there in i. I can simply say at i. Okay, let's save that and let's refresh this index view. So we should have 1 to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now let's say I want, you know, each number to be bolded. Then we can wrap that inside a bold tag. Okay, now let's go ahead and refresh that every number should be bolded. Okay, there we go. Now what happens if I don't use that at symbol? If we don't use that at symbol, then Razor View treats that as, you know, literal text as i, and it simply prints i 10 times. So if you want to pull out, you know, the value from the C-sharp variable, then you have to switch to C-sharp mode, and you do that by using the at symbol. All right. And there may be scenarios where we have to define some variables and perform some calculations, and that's a perfect scenario for defining a code block, okay? And to define a code block, we use, you know, at symbol, opening bracket, closing bracket, and within that block, whatever code that you write is going to be C-sharp code. So here, notice that we are defining two variables, you know, which are going to hold the sum of even numbers and odd numbers. And then we have a for each loop, uh, and we are checking if that number is divisible by two. We know that if it's divisible by two, it's an even number. So in which case, we are adding all the even numbers, if it is not divisible by 2, in the sense if the reminder is not 0, then we know it's an odd number, in which case we are, you know, computing the sum of all odd numbers. So basically, this little bit of C-sharp code that we have here is computing the sum of even and odd numbers, you know, from 1 to 10. Okay? So to compute that, we have to define two variables which are going to hold that sum, and then we have to write a bit of logic. So here, everything is going to be C-sharp code. Okay? So this is a perfect scenario to use a code block. Okay, and how do we define a code block? Using at symbol, opening bracket, and closing bracket. Okay, let's look at this in action. So we use an at symbol, opening bracket, and a closing bracket. Let's define the variables that we need. So we want an integer variable, and let's call it uh, sum of even numbers, and we want to initialize that to 0. And we want another variable, and let's call it sum of odd numbers, and let's initialize that to 0 as well. Now let's use a for loop, and notice that I don't have to use an at symbol now every time I have to write C-sharp code, because we are inside a code block, so everything that we are going to write here is, is will be treated as C-sharp code. So let's create a variable i for int i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, 
i plus plus so we are going to loop through 1 to 10 and if i mod 2 is 0 so if the reminder is 0 then we know that it is an even number else we know that it is an odd number if it's an even number then we have to sum you know even numbers you know we have to total them so sum of even numbers is equal to sum of even numbers plus i similarly if it's going to be an odd number then it's going to be sum of odd numbers is equal to sum of odd numbers plus i okay so we have defined two variables here and we have performed whatever calculations that we have to perform and now it is time to print the values that we have stored in these variables so i want to print the sum of even numbers and uh, odd numbers and let's print them using maybe an h3 tag so sum of even numbers is equal to so we have to pull the value out of this variable so we have to flip now to C sharp mode and to do that we can use the add symbol so add sum of even numbers similarly we want to print the sum of odd numbers and let's use sum of odd numbers variable that's it let's save everything and let's refresh this view so now we should see sum of even numbers and sum of um, odd numbers so we need to change that text right here it's, it has to be sum of odd numbers save it refresh your view and we should get sum of odd numbers there all right now there may be scenarios where we have to switch between code and literal text let's actually understand that with an example let's say we are printing numbers 1 to 10 but at the same time you know while we are printing those numbers we also want to print this literal text specifying whether it's an even number or an odd number so 1 is an odd number so we have to print it like this 1 is odd 2 even 3 odd so we want to print it like this so basically to achieve that we are using a for loop here so we are looping through uh, from 1 to 10 okay and then we want to print that number first okay whatever number that we have in that uh, variable in that C sharp variable so we are printing that and we want that to be bolded so we are wrapping that inside a bold tag okay and then if the number is divisible by 2 okay then we know it's an even number okay and then you see that there I am using you know text element what happens if I don't use text element if I don't use text element then whatever I'm going to type within this opening and closing bracket it's going to treat that as C sharp code okay so I have to tell somehow to the razor view okay now I simply want to print this literal text here okay um, so that's why we're using this text element there similarly here we are again using text element for specifying that as an odd number now we can either achieve that using this text element or we can use the syntax at colon okay so basically to switch between C sharp code and literal text we can use either text element or at colon syntax let's actually look at that in action so at for int i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus Okay, so we want to print the value that is in i but we want to bold that so let's go ahead and use the bold tag so from html we want to um, you know switch to c sharp so we use the add symbol and we print whatever value that's present in i and now we are going to do a bit of um, computation here so if i mod 2 is equal to 0 so if it's equal to 0 then we know that it's an even number in which case we want to print a dash and then whether if it is odd number or even number now look at this if I simply say okay output dash and then print this text even look at that look at the shade you know it's it's shaded you know with light gray color so it is actually treating that as C sharp code and not as literal text but our intention here is to treat that as literal text so if that's our intention we have to use you know the text element and then obviously we have to close that 
text element okay similarly else we know that it's going to be an odd number so again we use the text element and specify that it's an odd number let's save everything and let's go ahead and refresh this okay all of them are coming in the same line so let's include an HTML break and let's refresh that so we should now get the output that we expect okay so we can either use that text element or we can use at colon syntax and then get rid of that so at colon and let's refresh this view we should get the same output it's just that we are using a different syntax now all right on this slide you can find resources for asp.net c sharp and sql server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day